Hello, welcome to today's The Word in a Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is I Refuse. There's a lot going on today in the world. On one hand, we're dealing with the reality of a pandemic where it doesn't matter where it begin or where it's going to go, we are living our lives, our lives differently than we have in the past. We have to take these changes that we are dealing with now, accept them, and move forward. But we must not live our lives afraid. We have to keep our trust in God. On the other hand, we're dealing with a lot of political persecution on both sides of the fence. Finger pointing going on left and right. It's crazy that we have to see these things, but it's been happening for years, but now it just seems to have gotten worse. Not many people want to take responsibility for anything, but that doesn't have to apply to you. People are panicking. I refuse to bow down to all the negativity that goes on in the world and around me and keep my eyes on the Lord and let Him guide me not what I see in our daily lives or what we watch in the news. There's a song i like to share with you by Josh Wilson that applies to what we're saying today. It's called I Refuse and the lyrics of the song go, Sometimes I just want to close my eyes and act like everything's alright when I know they're not. This world needs God but it's never easier to stand and watch. I could say a prayer and just move on like nothing's wrong but I refuse cause I don't want to live like I don't care I don't want to say another empty prayer oh I refuse to sit around and wait for someone else to do what God has called me to do myself or I would choose not to move but I refuse you too need to refuse to go with the flow when it comes to the negative things that goes on in the world you should take precaution in regards to the pandemic, but you should not live your life in fear. Josh Wilson's song further goes, I can hear the least of these crying out so desperately, and I know we are the hands and feet of you, O oh God. So if you say move, it's time for me to follow through and do what I was made to do and show them who you are. That's a good point of the song that we need to listen to Josh Wilson when he's talking about refusing to go about what's going on and go and let people know who God is. You should know who God is. If you don't, it's come time for you to get on your knees and pray that God come into your heart and you accept him into your heart. It's time is now. Don't wait till later. We need to learn to watch the words we speak towards others. King Solomon had the same approach when it comes to the wise speaking. Proverbs 16 and 24 reads, Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Why would such a powerful king like King Solomon address the way we speak? Because words have power. Words can destroy. That's right. Words can destroy. So when we're dealing with people who think differently than us, who uh, have a different political opinion or a different outlook, who are different skin color than we, who decide to worship God differently than us, we should not misjudge those people. We should not talk badly about those people or speak negatively to them. Accept people for who they are and we all can get along just fine. Say, I refuse to take on this neg negativity. You should turn to the Lord and ask him how you should proceed with your life. Proverbs 16 and 23 reads, The hearts of the wise make their mouths prudent, and their lips promote instruction. Keep in mind, in King Solomon days, people spread the news from person to person. Unlike us now, where we can get things instantly through the internet or on TV or through 24-hour news channels. So the, the, what was important then was the, the, um, the validity of the word that was being spread around. Keep in mind that the, those messages they sent out had to be prudent and uh, reason tongue had to get the word out. 
Cause because the message they had to get the people to keep things positive among the people so they can know what's going on with the government. Um, they didn't overreact or speak harshly no matter what the issue was. Let me tell you something. We can all benefit by gracing our opinions and thoughts with uh, godly and prudent sweetness. We can approach things differently than the way we used to. Before we speak out of our mouth, we need to pray to God, how should I approach this thing? How should I re respond to this thing that I'm dealing with? How can I respond to the people I'm talking to? Proverbs 16 and 1 reads, To humans belong the plans of the heart, where from the Lord comes the proper answer of the tongue. With that scripture, I'm asking you to refuse to fall victim to the negativity that you experience in, in your daily life, the things you see over the air, the things you're reading on the internet. Just don't fall victim to the negativity and ask God for wisdom um, to deal with your daily life. Don't mistreat people because they're different than you. Don't mistreat them because their skin color is different than yours. Don't mistreat them because they live at a different level than you. Don't mistreat them because they choose to worship God differently or live differently than you do. We should all uh, treat people fairly, no matter where they come from or what they do in their lives. Because the example of Jesus they need to see might just come from you. And with that, be blessed.